Hi, it's me, David, and I'd like to welcome you back to Life with Parkinson's. Thank you for taking the time to watch. A little while ago, I shared a video with you talking about my anxiety symptoms coupled with my Parkinson's. And one of the things in that video I talked about was that certain foods can trigger anxiety-like symptoms. So sugar, caffeine are big ones. So today I thought I would share with you my Parkinson's friendly spiced pancakes. I've been working on the recipe for a long time. Pancakes go back a long way in my family and basically started with my grandma and my oma and then got passed down to my kids. And I hope we can talk about that a little bit during this video. But first I just want to let you know the recipe that I'm using is in the description below if you want to follow along feel free but let's get to it so as i've laid out in the recipe i've got my dry ingredients on one side ready to mix together and then my wet ingredients on the other and my fruit of choice is blueberries if you're curious there's the milk i've used and the whipping cream I'm going to whip up tomorrow and then my sugar reduced syrup that I quite like. Okay so now I'm going to add all my dry ingredients, the salt, the baking powder, the ginger, the cinnamon, and the cloves, the nutmeg, and the allspice. And I'm just gonna mix it all up. Honestly, I just really use a fork for the whole thing. I found that to be quite adequate. And I go, hmm, one of the reasons I went with spiced pancakes as many of you know we tend to lose our ability to smell a little bit with the Parkinson's so having a spice mixture if you get nice and close it's like ah oh, I remember how things smell okay now that the dry ingredients are all mixed together we'll do the wet ones so first I add my eggs to the milk a little sploosh my sugar, then my olive oil, and then I grab my trusty fork and we mix away. Basically you just want to scramble the eggs and dissolve the sugar and once that's done you're ready to go and add them to the dry ingredients. So the wet ingredients are ready to go and then I just pour them on top of the dry ingredients. And this can take a little bit longer to mix together but normally I just take my time, give it a couple stirs. You know when the kids were growing up on Saturdays if I wasn't on call or working overtime. A lot of times I would get up early with my son. He liked to play FIFA because he was quite a soccer player. So we'd play FIFA <laughs> like at 5 in the morning till sometimes 7 or 8 o'clock and then my daughter would wake up and she was really the baker in the family so we'd make pancakes and listen to Adventures in Odyssey. It was a really good time. So one thing to watch for is you're going to get little lumps in here but it's fine. I usually get some and they're usually only really the size of a pea. You probably can't see there but I'll get a close-up here in a moment and you can leave those. But uh, some of the different milks I've found, I've tried all types of different kinds of milk. Some of the different milks absorb 
varying amounts of flour. So if it's a little draughty, you might have to add a little bit more milk depending on what you're doing. Or if it's a wet, a few sprinkles of flour will take care of it. Okay, all the wet and dry ingredients are mixed up together. There are a few little lumps in here. Nothing I'm going to worry about. It's all going to work out fine in the pan. And storing the batter overnight will allow everything to mix together and give time for the spices to work themselves in really nice. They're going to be delicious. So one of the things I do before I put my batter in the fridge overnight is just a little taste test to make sure everything is right. Hmm, that's perfect. I'm going to put my handy dandy silicone covering over my batter, pop it in the fridge overnight, and then I'll show you what I do for coffee. So losing out on caffeinated coffee was a big loss for me at first, but I got over it. There are a lot of good blends of decaf coffee out there. One of my favorite that I use almost every day is the President's Choice Gourmet Blend, but there are also other good ones as well that I get for special occasions. But uh, the way I spice my coffee up now is with some ground cloves. I just, I've already added my water and coffee ground, so I just put a couple dashes on top of the coffee grounds and it's really good. Well, good morning everyone. I hope you had a good sleep, as I did. As you can see, I don't have the dyskinesia I did yesterday. I actually have a bit of freezing this morning, but that's okay. So my batter turned out really good overnight. I did have to add a little bit of milk. It was a little bit thick and dissolved most of the lumps, so it's ready to go. I'm going to start the coffee. Mix up the whipping cream. And I'll be back in a minute to see you. Okay, so the whipping cream is ready to go. Coffee's on its way. And here we are ready to start our first pancakes. I like to spray the pan with my cooking spray. That way nothing sticks. And then I just like to put out three small pancakes into the pan. Okay, so here's the pancakes in the pan, and as the bubbles begin to form, when you have a good amount, you'll know they are ready to flip. Here we go. I've flipped over the pancakes, and now I leave them for about another minute or so. Usually on medium heat is what I set my stove to, and then I'll show you what I do for breakfast. So I do like to have whipping cream with my pancakes. I read on the label on the whipping cream, there is no sugar, so that's a good thing. And the little bit of protein that's in this isn't really going to affect my pills very much. I try to space my meals out between my pills at least an hour, just in case there's any interaction. And basically it was my mom who got me onto the whipping cream. When I was a kid, we had whipping cream with pretty much every dessert. It was her favorite thing. Ah, my cup of coffee is ready. Hmm, that is delicious. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please hit the like button so others can find it. It helps a lot. Thank you. And here we go. The first round of my Parkinson's Friendly Spice Pancakes are ready to go. I'm ready to enjoy them and I hope you're ready to enjoy the ones you've been making if you've been following along. And I can hear my little Kanye bird Kiwi twittering in the background. I'm going to have to make her some because she loves them as well. If you've tried out these pancakes, let me know your results in the comments below. I'm quite interested to see if you like them. Thank you. So the last thing I do before I put my batter in the fridge to sit overnight is a little taste test just to make sure I've gotten the mixture right and everything is good. I think I mixed up the cayenne pepper with the cinnamon. 
<laughs> I'm gonna have to redo it. So one of the things I do before I put my batter in the fridge overnight is just a little taste test just to make sure I've gotten the spice mixture right. Oh, oh no, I've done it again. Oh, I've mixed up the sugar and the salt. Oh, I'm going to have to redo it. Hey there, as I'm just finishing up flipping these last few pancakes, in the beginning of the video I talked about what inspired this one was my Parkinson's anxiety symptoms video. If you're interested in that, I suggest that you watch it right here. And when you're done with this video, I will see you over there. Thank you.